Okay, so this happened last night. Door opens, door closes. Makes a little funny noise, like the tray's having a hard time. Can bring up an error code. E2, E2 is the error code. There's another error code that we can bring up by holding display skip and display off, skip play, display off, 8219. All right, let's open it up and see if we can figure out what's going on with this uh, poor Pioneer CD recorder. So a quick look inside doesn't show any signs of this capacitor leaking. I'll probably have to look at the bottom of the board to make sure. The symptom seems to be the glides here are kind of jittering, which you can see if I close this, watch here. I'm not sure what that's all about. I'll keep looking. Well, so all I've done so far is moved the um, the laser sled manually and uh, moved a little bit of the grease around and that seems to have fixed it. Um, it now opens. You can't quite see it in here but I've moved this little wheel here, you can manually move the the sled back and forth. Let me kind of bring it back out and you'll see what I mean. So here's the laser assembly and this is moving it on this sled. I moved a little bit of the grease around so it was stuck down at this end instead of being over here where it needed to be. Let me move it back again and we'll close the drawer and you'll see that it seems to be working. So let's close the door. And the little, there's no CD in there, so the laser diode is just moving up and down trying to focus, but no more error message. And uh, 
it seems to be happy. So I'm going to try playing a CD all the way to force the, uh, the beam to go out to the end and see if it gets stuck again out there. But uh, maybe, maybe it's fixed, so we shall see. Okay, let's try playing a CD here and uh, getting the sled to go all the way out to the end. Figured out it was a CD. Reading table of contents. 73 minutes, 22 tracks. And let's hit play. So that's happy. It's playing. And let's skip ahead a few tracks here and see what happens. Track two, three, four, I can see the sled is moving. Still looking good. We're now up to track 12, 13. Twenty. Twenty-one. 22. I did also reseat this cable and this cable. I don't know if that had much to do with it. But it still seemed to do it even after I did that until I manually moved the sled down to the spot where it's supposed to start. And the song should be about done. There we go. And that worked. That worked. So maybe we have fixed it. I think what I'll do is have it um, re reburn a uh, a CDRW where you force it to format the whole the whole CD. Uh, the CDRW, and that should make it all go all the way out. It takes about 80 minutes to do that. Um, so we'll have it do that as a test. And if it can get through that, then I'm probably going to go ahead and remove, I'll remove this troublesome guy here, since that seems to be a, a highly recommended thing to remove this super cap before it leaks its guts all over this board because there's no evidence that it's done that yet, but uh, I think we'll take it out just to be, just to be safe. All right, so we'll come back after we, uh, after we do that CDRW and see what, uh, see what the deal is. Okay, well, so it was able to format that CDRW just fine. So I think that's good news. I did remove the super cap. Not the easiest thing to remove. Basically what I did, um, you know, it's got this wide base so it's, it's hard to just get at the pin that goes through the, through the circuit board. So what I did is use this razor blade to carefully kind of shave away the contact. Oops, where'd it go? <laughs> Don't want to lose that. Carefully shave away this contact and then I could bend it back enough to get my my clippers under there and you see it is it is removed so we're gonna button it back up and pray that it keeps working just fine for a long 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 time <laughs>